This video provides some guidance for changing the domain name for a WordPress setup. The domain name is the part of your site address, such as profoto.com, like in this example. There's a few different methods you might be using. If you need to change your site domain name, this video is for you. You should know that there are also different steps you'll take if you choose instead to use a subdomain, like this, or if you want to move your site into a subfolder, like this. So if those are what you're trying to do, you can stop this video right now and find our other videos for more appropriate help. Also worth noting, when you change the address of your site's content, some social media integrations might be reset. This includes stuff like Facebook like counts or other social media counters, as well as Facebook comments and other integrations that appear on your site. New likes, shares, or comments will appear as normal, though. Keep in mind that domain names are provided by your registrar, which is typically the same as your website hosting company, but they might be separate companies for some users. Before you proceed, you should know how and where to log into your account where your domain names are managed. If you're not sure, contact tech support for your hosting account for guidance. Since we don't provide these services to you, we might not be able to help you with domain name issues. The first step in changing your site's domain is to purchase a domain with your registrar. You shouldn't need to add any other hosting account or anything like that. Just log into your existing account with your provider, and there should be an area where you can manage your domains. Domain names cost an annual fee through your registrar. When you add a new domain, you might be asked to choose between parked or add-on domains. Parked domains behave just like an alias. They take your visitor to your site just like the original address does. Add-on domains behave a little differently and can take your visitor to a subfolder on your server. They help you separate your content if you need to operate more than one website on your hosting account. If you need to use an add-on domain type, you'll have extra steps to complete later, so we recommend using a parked domain unless you need to use your old domain for something else. At this stage, you should have purchased your new domain name, and you should be able to manage it in your account. If your domain name is managed separately from your hosting service, you'll also need to do something extra and point your domain name to your hosting account by filling in things called name servers. This is a step that varies by hosting provider, so if you use your domain name from a different company than your hosting, you might need to point your domain with name server settings, and we recommend contacting your hosting company or registrar for tech support help. New domain names can take up to 48 hours to begin to work, so if you just purchased your new domain or set up your name servers, there will be a waiting period before you can proceed. Sometimes, this is only a couple of hours. But typically, it takes about a day before your address actually begins to work. When your new address begins working, you should be able to fill it in your browser and see your WordPress site. Remember that if your original address used slash blog to get to your WordPress site or some other address, you'll need to add that to the end of your new address as well. If you are sure that you can view your WordPress site from your new address, it's time to update WordPress to use your new address. Let's log in to WordPress at the old address and go to the Settings General screen. You'll find two URL address boxes there, and in nearly every case, they should contain the exact same URL address. Update the domain name portion of each box with your new domain name like this. You can ignore any pop-up warning you see in this area. Profoto is simply asking you to come check out this video you're watching now to prevent making mistakes. When you have updated both boxes, click to Save Changes, and WordPress will update immediately. If all goes well, you'll be signed out of WordPress at this stage. This is normal. You're now going to log in to WordPress at the new address that you filled in. If you can log in at the new address and everything appears to work properly when you view your site at the new address, the scary part is done. But you're not finished until you complete the next step. You might be wondering, what happens to all my old links? What if visitors click on an old link somewhere on the internet? How will search engines find my new address? This is where redirects play an important role. 
A redirect is a lot like call forwarding for telephones. If someone tries to ring you at one number, their call is sent to another number. Redirects help you forward website traffic from one address to another. You can set up a redirect in a few ways, but we recommend using your hosting account to do the setup. You'll log into your hosting account and look for the domain name management area. You should find the redirects or forwarding options in this area. Different hosts will show different options here, but there are typically three things to select for a redirect. The type of redirect that you want, 301 for permanent or 302 for temporary, the address to redirect or forward, and the new address that you want to use. Some hosts also offer an option for wildcard redirection. This just means that visitors will be redirected if they visit the main address or a subpage address, like this. We recommend checking the wildcard option if you see it. Also, if you see an option to redirect or forward traffic with masking, make sure to leave this option turned off. It can cause some troubles in WordPress or Profoto. Redirects should take effect immediately in most cases, so give it a try. Visit your old address, and you should notice that your web browser tries to load the page, but it's sent to the new address instead, like that. If you are forwarded to the new address, the magic worked. Your redirect is ready and your site should be working fine. These next few items might not apply to you, but we mention them because they're good reminders. If you pasted addresses into WordPress manually, you might need to update them. Links could be pasted in manually in places like the menu area, widget areas, your pages, or other places. So update any links you can find to use the new address. And if you had set up the FeedBurner service for your site's feed, you might want to log into FeedBurner to use your new address for your site. Google Analytics is also an area that you may have set up for your site. You can update your property in the Analytics tool to match your new address. The same goes for Google Webmaster Tools. You can update the record to use the new domain name. At this point, your new address is all set up, and your site should work great. If you have trouble with your domain name or redirection, please contact your hosting company or registrar for assistance. And if you have any trouble with WordPress or Profoto after the switch, feel free to contact Profoto Tech Support through our website.